Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on long division. There's nothing more stressful for a lot of students than long division. It's tedious, it's hard, and it's just messy. There's no way around it. So what you can do is keep it neat and write slowly and write it big. So let's get to it. There's no way around it anyway. x to the fourth plus 5x to the cube plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 23. Now notice I'm trying to leave as much room as can as I can. I'm trying to fill out the whole paper. The more room you have in case you do make a mistake, you can spot it easier. And hopefully you will make a mistake in the first place. Here I have three terms, so I need a three terms. The first term I'm going to have is over here. I always tell my students, pretend you're poking a hole through the roof and put a chimney here. Okay, so the first term you're going to put in here multiplied by here should match what we have over there. So what I have is x squared times x squared, that gives me x to the fourth. Next one is 6x cubed minus 17x squared. So, so far so good. Most students can get there. Now next thing is a little tedious in that we have to subtract. Okay. The best thing I found over the years is you vocally, vocally speak it. Okay, so x fourth minus x fourth, it's gone. Then 5x squared uh, cubed minus 6, that gives me minus x cubed. Okay. Another thing you can do is distribute this one and treat it as equal uh, adding sign. If it works for you, great, try it. Next term, 4x squared minus minus. Now notice how I'm just literally pointing and speak. 4x squared minus minus, which is plus. So 4 plus 17, that should have given me a positive 21x squared. Okay. Then this term comes down, minus 5x. Okay, we're going to do it all over again. Fun, huh? Minus x over here. Minus x cubed. So all my tasks, whatever I put in here, I'm trying to match the leading term here by multiplying. Okay, so minus x cubed. Next thing I have minus 6x. Okay. And then I have minus plus 17x. And the reason it's plus is minus x times minus 17. That gives me a plus. Once again, I'm going to do the subtraction. So vocally speaking it again, minus x cubed minus minus, that's plus. First term is gone. 21 minus minus, so I have a 27x. There's a square here. Okay, and then it's minus 5 minus 17. That gives you minus 20. 2x. Okay, so again, minus 5x minus a plus, which is really minus 5x minus a positive 17x. That's equal to minus 5x minus 17x. That's why I have a minus 22x. Right? Almost there. Let's try, drop this down, plus 23. Okay, in order to match 27, I'm going to have a positive 27 on top. 27x squared. Now you have to multiply this one out. So I did uh, multiply, let's see, so I have a 6 at 27, 162. It's a plus sign because I have a plus plus. And then I have this big huge minus sign, minus 159. You did it on the calculator over here. Okay, so 27 times minus 17 is minus. 459. Uh, now, remember it's minus again, so don't rush it, because if you do have a mistake, one mistake is going to keep on propagating down all the way. Minus, minus, this term cancels. Minus 22x, oh, I missed x here. Minus 22x, minus this one, I end up with uh, minus 184x. 23 minus, minus, that's a plus, 482. Okay, so 500. 23, that's 482. Okay. So here's the answer. This is the remainder, and our answer on top is equal to x squared minus x plus 27. All right. Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join this channel for more updates. Together, we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.